You cannot even show me one Bitcoin. Gentlemen, this is... What is up everyone? It's Adam from FWCI and where are my basketball fans at? I got a video today it's looking at the top 10 craziest NBA fights. So I'm sure the Malice in the Palace is going to be number one. Uh, I'm not sure what other what else is going to be on there. I know Rudy Tomjanovich was involved. It wasn't a spectacular fight, but he was involved in a brutal... He got hit. He said he could taste spinal fluid like yeah isn't, it was not good uh but we're gonna have a look at this one here if you are into the nba make sure you check out nba straya it's a fantastic podcast with old mate jimmy knows his shit it's really good to listen to and uh by the way did you see luka Doncic's buzzer beater today this guy anyway top 10 crazy nba fights let's go watch mojo sure Oh, is that Samson? Larry's in there. Welcome to Watch Mojo, <laughs> and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest NBA fights. And the bench is empty, my goodness. Oh, yeah, is that when uh, Simo had someone in a uh, wow, STF? Yep, that was it. DC is just unloading on Williamson, and this is wow, what was that one? I didn't even see that one before. Sacramento. This is really out of hand over here. Oh, no. Let's clean this up, fellas. For this list, we'll be looking at the most insane physical fights oh. to ever take place on an NBA hard court. Some of which Lame even beer. led to rule. What the fuck was that? Just gave a double leg takedown on Sean Bradley, I think. Bloody hell. All right, watch Mojo. What do you got for me? Daryl Dawkins versus Maurice Lucas. During the 1977 right. finals, an accidental tangle up escalated to property damage. Gilliam inside. After Philadelphia 76ers Dawkins powerhouse Daryl Dawkins tangled with Bob Goss of the Portland Trailblazers, Dawkins tried to hit oh. the other player, only to hit his own teammate. Trailblazer Maurice Lucas then shoved Dawkins Why did he before the two <laughs> squared up, and fans and police flooded the court. Oh! <laughs> hey, look at these guys, they are ready to go, no one's getting in there, they're all like, alright. Both players were Duke it out. Dawkins was so <laughs> angry that he ripped a toilet from the wall of his own team's locker room. They've got to get the fans a fucking strong motherfucker. <laughs> The Sixers won this game, but lost the next four, leading to Portland's only championship to date. Some oh, speculate that this particular that fight the helped Bill motivate Walton the Trailblazers days, to win the it? series. Number nine, Michael Jordan versus Reggie Miller. Okay. The legendary Michael Jordan was no stranger to aggressive gameplay. Can I just say, I love how much uh, Reggie baits his opponent and how much of a cerebral uh, player he actually is. And this incident is a prime example. Indiana Pacers star Reggie Miller bumped into Jordan, and the two exchanged some pretty harsh words before things came to blows. Hey, hey, hey! I can't blame him. Jordan chased down Miller to grab, scratch, and Nearly punch had him in his a face. Half Nelson eye gouge. Jesus. Reverse half Nelson eye Miller was ejected, but insanely enough, Jordan was not. What? In fact, he wasn't even given a foul. What? Ooh. And all the other teams must have hated Chicago in the 90s. Not that it was unfair, After but the they game, were just however, so dominant. Jordan was fined and was given a one-game suspension. As for okay. Miller and the Pacers, they did not advance to the NBA Finals until after Jordan's second retirement. Congratulations to the Indiana Pacers. Well deserved. The best team all year. They proved it during the season. Old Reggie. The playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Number eight, Larry Bird versus Dr. All J. Right. During his career in the NBA, Larry Bird was known for trash talk, but he went a little too mm. far when he elbowed the high-flying Dr. J, a.k.a. Julius Irving. Despite their off-the-court friendship, the two threw punches and grabbed each other's throats. Both Dr. teams' J benches just... rushed to the court, and Dr. J's fellow <laughs> Sixers helped Bird as Irving punched the Celtics superstar. <laughs> the fight resulted in over $30,000 in fines, with Irving and Bird both receiving fines of $7,500, the second highest fine in the league at the time. Finally yeah, caught up with you, did it? <laughs> Number seven, Marcus Camby versus Danny Ferry. 
Okay. Marcus Camby of the Knicks wasn't known as a confrontational player, but he was understandably ruffled hey. when Spurs player Danny Ferry elbowed his chest and hit him in the face. Camby took a took a shot. After a brief discussion with the ref, yeah, he Camby dove happy. after Ferry to retaliate. Oh, Camby still trying to get a Ferry on us. Hey. Unfortunately, Camby accidentally hit his own coach, Jeff Van Gundy, oh, when the coach man. attempted to intervene. <laughs> the scuffle resulted <laughs> in a five-game suspension and $25,000 <laughs> fine for Camby, a one-game suspension and $7,500 fine for Ferry, and 50 Look, he jumps for right Van into Gundy. It. Buzz! <laughs> Van Gundy saving him. Van Gundy yeah, Danny Ferry is getting the fuck out of there. As you'll himself. see in a moment, this wasn't the only time Jeff Van Gundy was caught in the crossfire of a fight. <laughs> in Madison Square Garden. Number six, Alonzo Mourning versus Larry Johnson. At the end of wow. a 1998 okay. playoff game between the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks, former teammates Alonzo Mourning and Larry Johnson bumped into each other, and years of animosity bubbled up into flying fists. Hey, hey! Uh, Larry Johnson is one of them. Here we go. Charles Oakley's in there. The Knicks got involved. But the craziest thing about this fight was Knicks coach Jeff Van Gundy grabbing Morning's leg to try to de-escalate the altercation. Thank God damn it, to Jeff Van Gundy. Doc Rivers. Fortunately for these guys, they are both awful fighters. So no hits <laughs> landed and no coaches were trampled during this scuffle. Both Johnson and Morning received two game suspensions and missed the end of the series. Way to ruin wow. a big guy. Number five. Missed the Charles end of the Barkley series. Versus yeah, Shaquille yeah, O'Neal. Nowadays, yeah, Charles Brewer. Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal are everyone's favorite frenemies on TNT's Inside the NBA, but these two weren't always so chummy. See these two, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. During a 1999 game, Shaq fouled Barkley, who retaliated by throwing the ball at O'Neal's head, and the two wound up wrestling to the ground. Both players were suspended. Barkley was fined $5,000, <laughs> while Shaq was fined $10,000. Thankfully, after the incident, their mothers convinced the players to patch up things, and they made amends over a few terrible rounds of golf. However, this was not the only time Charles Barkley was involved in a fight on the court. Number four, oh, yeah. the Suns versus the Knicks. Doc Rivers. And a foul KJ, Rivers my boy. For pushing Johnson, who says yes, yes, and they're going head to head. Here comes Barkley. Yes, that's Charles Barkley once again. Oh, yeah. The main instigators of this rule-changing fight from 1993, however, were Kevin rule Johnson changing? and Doc Rivers. Rivers committed an offensive foul on Johnson, and the two got heated, leading their benches to clear out. Thankfully, both teams cooled down, but not for long. Rivers and Johnson clashed again, and a benched Greg Anthony decided to escalate matters by punching Johnson in the face. Oh, look out! Here comes oh, no. Rivers after Johnson! We have a free for all. Johnson blindsided Rivers. Rivers Damn. Down, and this could become ugly. The teams dogpiled each other, ugly, resulting right. in one of the biggest fights in NBA history, as well as Patrick Ewing is Johnson, going up to someone. Rivers, and oh, Anthony. Okay, no. Johnson diving on Anthony. Boy, this is one you will not, you will not see in the NBA. This is. Oof, that's violent, in man. Fact, I don't think Anthony's I've ever seen this before. Off the bench led to stricter league wide rules regarding fighting, which are still in effect to this day. Now it looks like they have settled matters, and that's the end of the half. Number three, the end Bulls the versus the Knicks. Oof. The Knicks have been involved in their fair share of historic I want to the second half of that fights, last game. and this incident was no exception. During the 1994 playoffs, Derek Harper of the Knicks and JoJo English of the Bulls scuffled at the three-point line right in front of the first row of fans. Yeah, the Chicago-New York playoff rivalry is an ugly one. At the sound of the ref's whistle, both teams rushed to back uh, up hey, their teammates go, hey, and, yeah, and spilled off. into the stands. And as he brings them over here and throws them on the floor, well, <laughs> you can see what happens. It empties right over the top of the fans in rows one and two. This That's was far solid, from the only time bro. an altercation extended into the crowd, but it's not every night that the NBA commissioner is in attendance. David Stern had a front row Ooh. seat to the action. Here's the commissioner. Ooh, that's unfortunate timing for uh, 
those teams. <laughs> Harper received a two-game suspension. English received a one-game suspension. And the league made stricter rules regarding fights. Number two. Was, was that before the or after the last? Versus the Nuggets. They made stricter oh, rules for fights. Look at this. What is he doing? Man, there's just something about Madison Square Garden and fights, isn't there? This insane history-making melee from 2006 began at the end of the game, when Knicks player Marty Collins yeah, committed a, a flagrant foul against Denver Nuggets guard J.R. Smith. Oh, that's a tough foul, Marty Collins. Careful. No, no, no. What's Robinson oh. doing? The Nuggets rushed to Smith's defense, resulting in a huge brawl between both teams that spilled into the stands. The this Nuggets and the Knicks on. were fined half a million dollars each, and seven players, including the league's top scorer Carmelo Anthony, were suspended for a total of 47 games, making this the most penalized game in history at the time. Well, there goes the Knicks. I'm uh, guessing five on the, floor. the I, Malice I in the Palace saying, is I've still coming. The Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, perhaps dishonorable, mentions. The Celtics versus the Rockets. Seven foot four Ralph Sampson collided with six foot one Jerry Sictic, who <laughs> retaliated with a hit, and other players joined in. Hey! And now Ralph Sampson, Jesus, he just got fucking German suplexed. <laughs> yeah. Ralph threw a bomb right there. Robert Parrish versus Bill Lambeer. Oh, yeah. Parrish punched known instigator Lambeer and didn't even get a foul called on him. It doesn't fall the tip by Parrish. He can't get it to the hey. Takes Lambeer to the ground with a right forearm. <laughs> the guy's calling it like a wrestling match. The security guards are on the floor right now, too. Pistons versus 76ers. Is anyone surprised that Bill Lambeer was involved in this scuffle? Now he and Lambeer start Not at all. each other. And now Barkley gets into it, he hit Lambeer, and now there are some punches thrown. Now we got a little... Lambeer's got the old front face lock into Lambeer. the uppercuts, and Jesus Christ. Strong. Chris Paul versus Rajon Rondo. Hey. Fouls and shoves led to Paul and Rondo Great throwing punches well, by the way. and getting suspended. Now Paul oh, punches a throw! Paul and Rondo throwing punches! Ingram comes in, he's throwing punches! Kobe Bryant versus Chris Childs. Childs shoved Kobe for trash talking, leading to a brawl. They were fined and suspended. Hey! What did he do to get in Kobe's head? Jesus. Number one, Pistons versus Pacers versus fans, also known as the Malice at the Palace. Versus fans. It's pretty ironic that a man who later changed his name to Metal World Peace was at the center of the worst fight in NBA history. It is and Wallace is fouled, and Wallace did. Oh! Wallace. Right at test. This has potential to be Artest is another player. I love his... Known um, at the time as Ron Artest, uh, you know, shit, he committed a foul on Pistons abilities. player Ben Wallace, who then shoved Artest. The two got physical, and a fan added to the incident by throwing a Diet Coke in their direction, prompting Artest to climb into the stands. Now and he Artest hits the wrong fan. It was and a move. To get down to the bench. The arena exploded into chaos between the players, guy didn't even fans, know what to do. and security. Even after the fighting stopped and players headed to the locker room, fans continued to throw drinks. Artest received a 73-game suspension, the longest in league history. 73 additional game Ooh. suspensions were handed out, players and fans yeah. received assault charges, Indiana and NBA and rules regarding security around. and alcohol sales at games were changed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I do enjoy a good uh, regular rewatch of the Malice in the Palace because yeah, that is uh, amazing uh, sports fight. That just yeah, it's it's something else. It had to be number one on that list. There's never been an NBA fight that was quite like that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. What's your favorite NBA fight? And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.